What's up everyone, happy Monday. So today's a very important day because it's the day before Valentine's Day. That means if you have a wife, you have a girlfriend, you have a side chick, just get her some flowers and call it a day. What I like to do is I like to get flowers and write a very thoughtful card. I think that goes a long way. So before you guys do anything, before you guys continue this video, get your girl some flowers for Valentine's Day. It'll go a long way, okay? So let's talk about trading and let's talk about the market. So. As you guys know, tomorrow is CPI days. Tomorrow's inflation day, right? So at 8.30 a.m. market time, the CPI report is gonna come out. The reason why the CPI report is very important is because that is the number one metric that the Federal Reserve uses to determine the inflation, right? And based on that, that's how they decide to raise or lower interest rates. If inflation comes in high, they have the opportunity to keep raising interest rates. If inflation comes in low, they might have the opportunity to reduce inf uh, uh, interest rates. Now, what I think is a little bit different, this is not trading advice, it's not investment advice, this is what I'm, my dumb ass is thinking, is the market is up like 20% this year, right? And obviously we were faded 30% last year and stocks are rebounding. So I think whether the inflation report is good or bad, I think that's gonna trigger some profit taking, at least in the short term for these stocks. Now, again, just based on the breadcrumbs that I see, it seems like so long as the bottom doesn't break on the S&P and the NASDAQ, we probably have a temporary bottom in the market. All these stocks are starting to rebound, all the stocks are you know, starting to reclaim. So long as something random or unexpected doesn't happen, I expect that these dips continue to get bought up because you have to remember, for a stock market to go up, they need to come down, collect shorts, and then make its move higher. So let's see what happens tomorrow for the CPI report, good or bad. I think the market is gonna fade off on it just as a way of profit taking, but that's not really something that I trade with. I know a lot of people have been asking questions about it. That's why I've kind of come on here and made this video about it. But for me, that's like the level of the billionaires and the trillionaires, right? Those are the guys that trade stuff like that. I'm over here just looking for the easy, repeatable, small cap scams and just betting that they're gonna go lower. And that for me is a repeatable multi-million dollar strategy. So I'm gonna to stick to that. And when I become a multi-billionaire, I'll focus on the CPI shit, right? So that's kind of what CPI is. Now let's talk about the current market action. Let's talk about what's been going on. Let's talk about how you guys can make money in this market, right? So. 2022 was an aggressive bear market and everything just went straight down. In 2023, everything changed, right? Everything changed, the stock market started to find a bottom and a lot of speculation money came into the stocks, right? And I talk about this very often because it's a very, very important topic is you guys need to understand that the small cap stocks that we trade, the small cap stocks that we play are mostly a lottery ticket to people. They're like, I'm gonna buy the stock at $1 and if it goes to $10, I'm gonna be rich forever and I'm gonna retire. I'm gonna buy the stock at 50 cents and if it just goes to 65 cents, I'm gonna retire, I'm gonna be rich. So it's like a lottery ticket, right? And the thing is that people that buy lottery tickets, people that you know try to get rich quick, need cash to be able to do it, right? So in 2022, we had an aggressive bear market and everything was going down and people were out of work and everything is horrible. People have no extra money to gamble with, right? They have no extra money to gamble with. But when the overall markets start to rebound, when people start to have more money in their pocket, the first thing that they do is they start gambling and speculating on these small cap stocks, right? So what I've been seeing is I've been seeing a lot of speculation money entering the market. Talk about Carvana going up, you know, 300%. Talk about Bed Bath & Beyond going crazy. Talk about Tesla bouncing 100%. Like this is pure speculation money. And that's great because that creates opportunities for us professional traders. Now, last week was probably one of the best weeks I've had in like two years. I think I made over $450,000 last week, $350,000 from Bed Bath & Beyond short and $70,000 from Tesla short and then a bunch of other stocks in between that, right? So Bed Bath & Beyond was actually an unbelievable opportunity. This was a stock that you know ha is bankrupt, right? So the company itself is worth $300 million and they're bankrupt $1.5 billion that they owe to the creditors. So they came out with an idea that they're gonna go to a hedge fund and they're gonna get a billion dollars from a hedge fund and in exchange, they're gonna give the hedge fund shares at like 70 cents or 80 cents a share. Stock is trading at three, four dollars with no lockup. So the hedge funds could just dump and dump and dump and dump. And hey, they might even make a profit on the billion dollars that they lent them. So a very toxic offering, very, very toxic stock. And because that was almost like a 99% setup short, I bulldozed in and I had uh, my best day of the year last week. 
Now, Tesla was also a very similar opportunity. Stock had bounced 100% off the lows, and I was patiently waiting for a first red day. Got a first red day, stock collapsed, and made $70,000 doing it. So the market is you know, starting to get a little bit hotter, but what you have to understand is these markets do not just go hot, 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 hot forever. Just like an overall market needs to slow down, trap shorts, and then go make a move higher, you know, the small cap stocks are the same. It's not gonna be every single day they're hot, 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 hot. You have to understand that when the market is hot, that is your opportunity to size up. And when the market is cold, that's your opportunity to size down. So today, I had a $1,500 day. That's a really big difference in making $70,000 on Friday, right? And oftentimes, as new traders, you think that you should be using the same size on every single setup. Every single stock is 1,000 shares, 1,000 shares, 1,000 shares. But what you have to understand is as you level up and become more of a professional trader, you know you should be betting based on the opportunities in front of you. So if Bed Bath & Beyond was a 99% opportunity, I'm bulldozing in. If Tesla was a first red day opportunity, I'm bulldozing in. But if today I show up to the market and there's not much opportunities, there's not much stocks trading, it might be better for me to not even place a trade or take very very small size which is what I did today so I walked into the market today and I didn't really see anything nice I didn't really see anything that fits my criteria I didn't really see anything that fits my strategy so I went back to the basics I went back to the day two low-hanging fruit the repeatable easy money strategy which was XPON I shorted XPON on the VWAP projection made like 20 cents a share made 1500 bucks and called it a day baby that was it so I want to remind you guys that, you know, the market is going to move in cycle. It's going to be hot. It's going to be cold. It's going to be hot. It's going to be cold. And your job as a professional trader is to recognize, you know, based on your experience, based on your guidance, based on your mentorship, if this is a market for you to step on the gas or if it's a market for you to step on the brakes. Last week, I was putting gas. I was hitting the nitrous button. I was doing everything. All right. I was driving like I was in Fast and Furious last week because that's what the opportunities had. But this week I'm driving like a grandma because I don't see much opportunities. And you know, after nine years of trading, I've learned that you know you gotta step on the gas when it's hot, but when it's cold, your biggest mistake is trying to repeat what you did last week, this week, because it doesn't work. The market already has changed within a week. Within a week, the market has changed. Last week's stuff is not working this week. So you must adapt and adjust accordingly, right? So for me, as the market kind of slows down, I don't think it's going to be slow all year again. I don't think the bear market is here again, but I think that at least in the short term, maybe for a week, the action is going to slow down. And when the action slows down, you get in your head. You start to say, man, like, I don't know. You know, these stocks are really weird. They're not trading normally. Maybe I should change the strategy. Maybe I should just like size up to like compensate. But like, I'm telling you guys, it just in like any market, any business, any relationship, nothing is perfect every single day. There's gonna be days where it's slow. There's gonna be days where you don't wanna to talk to your girl. There's gonna be days where she doesn't stop talking to you. But uh, as a trader or as, you know, someone that's living in this world, you have to understand that, you know, trade your stocks, trade the size, trade the opportunity based on what you see in front of you, not based on what you feel. Don't get me wrong, I wanna make $450,000 every single week, every single day, but if I came in with that mindset today, I would've probably lost $100,000 because the opportunities were not there. So as a trader, you need to first identify which patterns fit your personality, which strategies fit your personality, and based on those setups, if they are showing up, if they are, if the pattern is there on that day, how are you going to size in accordingly? When I first started trading, I would use the same size in every single stock and I'd make money one day, lose money one day, make money one day, lose money one day, make money another day, lose one day, one day. You know what I'm saying? So like now I trade based on the opportunity. So for Bed Bath & Beyond last week, I was using 300,000 shares. For Xpon today, I used like 3,000, 5,000 shares, right? Like nothing, right? So it's, I'm betting exponentially based on the opportunity that I see in front of me. And if I don't see that opportunity in front of me, I'm sizing down. So again, guys, again, understand that I think the market has bottomed. I think that we're gonna see opportunities every single day, but understand that not every single day is gonna be a massive opportunity. Not every single day is gonna be a six-figure opportunity. Your job as a trader is to show up. And honestly, on these slow days, that's the time to double down on your education, double down on the videos, double down on the mentorship, right? Because 
the reality is like, all right, let's say you missed the first red day setup last week on Tesla. What you should be doing is this week, you should be learning every single thing there has to do with the first red day setup so that when it comes back again next month or whatever, you're prepared, right? Oftentimes what ends up happening is I make a bunch of money on a first red day and then after that is when people start to watch the first red day videos. So while the market is slow, it's time to double down on your education. While the market is hot, it's time to double down on your size. But right now, based on the opportunities I'm seeing, it's pretty slow. Let's see what inflation brings tomorrow. Let's see what the market does tomorrow. And again, if you want to learn how to trade for free, go to myinvestingclub.com slash webinar. This is a free mentorship course that I put together that has our strategies, that has live trades, and that has everything that you need in order to get started trading. 100% free. These videos are free. The webinar is free. A lot of the stuff that we do is free so that you learn how to trade so that one day you finally have the capital to become a full-time MIC member and learn how to trade at the professional hedge fund level. So I'm going to kind of go back and help the members today. Today was a stress-free day. And I remind myself that $1,500 a day is what? Like $300,000 a year, $400,000 a year. So I'm not... Although it seems like a little, if you do this every single day, it will add up. So I'll see you guys back in MIC. Please leave a like and leave a comment on the video with one lesson that you learned from the video. And I will see you guys back tomorrow. Thanks.